Let's take a look at a very common protocol next. This is SSL, or Secure Sockets Layer. Now, SSL was originally developed by Netscape to provide encrypted transfers between a web client and a web server. The idea is that through the use of certificates, a web client would register and establish a secure connection with a web server, and from that point on, the connection is a secure connection, and all the data are encrypted. Now, it stops at the web server. Many applications tend to want to use SSL as their full web application encryption standard, and there's a fallacy in that. Most web servers live on DMZs, demilitarized zones, so they're outside the internal corporate intranet. So your encryption stops when you're still outside one of the firewalls. So just be aware, if you're planning to use SSL as your web application encryption standard, it's going to stop short. You probably want to go a little bit further and use something behind the web server as well. SSL has been a long-standing standard, but it's soon to be replaced by TLS. Another standard provides the same basic functions, but a little bit more advanced.